Hey guys, what's up? I am back and better than ever. Oh my goodness, I'm kind of excited for this because this is my first story time. And for my first one, I feel like this is a pretty decent one to start off with to kind of get into the flow of telling stories and anyways the story i'm going to be telling you guys today is the story of my very first boyfriend i was gonna you know make myself look a little uh better but i chose to not do that i don't feel like it it's really not much a point here this is me raw you know kitty slippers and all this is real this is me i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be now so let's get started so basically how this story starts it was probably around 2011 i'm pretty sure because i was about to turn 12. it was fourth of july and my mom was dating someone at the time and his family was having this huge little get together thing at one of their houses so we had went there so yeah we're going to this party i'm really excited mainly because i always know that there's always there's always going to be kids my age there because there are always kids my age there that's just how his family is there's just such a wide array of ages of people that i can be around and i loved it as we're pulling up to this house he's pointing out which house it is and it's the house that's on the corner and it's this huge freaking house to me i would consider it like a mansion because that that bitch was big i was super excited and the first thing i noticed was this huge front lawn and they had a side lawn and on the side lawn there was this giant antic freaking bouncy house but what caught my eye the most is the fact that there was a spider on top of the bouncy house like a huge spider on top of it and it caught my eye number one because i was really excited to get in that freaking bouncy house number two i'm arachnophobic so that didn't settle well with me in the fact that there was a spider on top of one of the things i was extremely excited about but that's okay i kind of just had to <laughs> put on my big boy pants and get on in there oh and if i didn't tell you already this is the 4th of july and my birthday is on the 6th of july so i was gonna turn 12 in two days so as usual you know when you go to family events that maybe you don't know everybody you know you walk in you're saying hi everyone's hugging everyone's asking you questions hi what's your name a b c d e f g all the questions that i don't care about because all i'm focused on is this bouncy house that i saw out outside your house basically the bouncy house and food was my main objective this entire time i wasn't thinking about anything else but the bouncy house and food i made sure that i came to any of these events on an empty stomach because i knew for a fact they would feed me well so we're walking around the house kind of just giving us a tour so as we're moving through the house we're kind of saying hi to different people and getting greeted by different people and somehow we end up in the kitchen now let me kind of like give you a little bit of a, a layout i guess as to how this was so there's the island here i'm standing behind the island and then the countertop goes around it like that and then right at the end of the countertop is a screen door that goes to the backyard so i'm standing on this side of the countertop next to my mom my mom's boyfriend and we're talking to someone that's right here and i'm just looking at these people and i'm kind of just looking around at all the food that's on the table and in walks this boy we're gonna call him frank so in walks frank with i believe who was his mom and i was already getting introduced to this other person that we're talking to is like two kids and we're all talking and then i see this boy walk in i didn't really think too much of it but in the back of my head i knew he was cute but I, it's not like i'm i'm 11 i'm not about to like i'm not about to make no moves i'm not about to shoot no shot i am not we're not at that level yet it wasn't about to happen like that so fast forward we're done with like talking to this person i'm kind of like i have no idea where this boy went and these two kids kind of we kind of ended up hanging out a little you know it was i don't know we're kids you know you kind of hang out with every child you meet so my mom made my plate, you know, we go outside, I'm sitting down on this chair, 
behind where my mom sure was. I'm eating. I'm trying to eat as fast as possible so I can get to this god darn bouncy house that's over here because it's just enticing me. So I finish my food and I immediately say, Mom, I'm going in the bouncy house. She says, okay. I bolt to the freaking bouncy house. And then I get there and I get nervous immediately. I get nervous because there's so many kids. I don't even know what to do. I'm not good at introducing myself or talking like period at all. So I already knew this was gonna be a bit of a challenge. I'm taking my shoes off and then I see these girls walking up to the bouncy house. So we're just gonna call them Brittany is the main one, Ashley and Kate. So Brittany, Ashley, and Kate walk up to the bouncy house and as I'm taking my shoes off, I hear them talking and I glance over and then they just start conversation with me. It just happened just like that. It just happened super quick. It was no in between awkward stage. It was just immediate conversation. Next thing you know, we're all in the bouncy house together, chatting it up, having a great time. So we're in the bouncy house in like the back corner ish kind of taking up that area and in comes frank with one of his friends i didn't care about his other friend and i'm just looking at him and then he makes eye contact and i immediately look away i swear a few seconds later Brittany turns to me and the rest of the girls and goes that boy is so cute oh my goodness of course I wasn't gonna say anything because I didn't want anyone to know that I like this boy. Like, th it was never gonna happen. I was never gonna let anyone know that I felt any kind of way for this young man because I don't even know him yet. I don't even know his name. And this bold Brittany, as soon as they are in there and they're having a good time, she decides, I'm gonna go over there and talk to them. So we immediately merge as a group over to where the boys are in the bouncy house on the other side and immediately start conversing. And we're all, we're all 11 and 10 and 12. And we're all over here in this little congregation kind of, of the so-called big kids because we are kind of the oldest ones that are in the bouncy house. There's probably about five other kids in this big freaking bouncy house and they're all way younger than us. So we end up over here with the boys and I'm kind of just shook this entire time because I've never seen this, like I've never seen something move so quickly. Like I've never seen someone just so bold, like just go straight up to him and just start a combo. Like it was crazy. And then, Deep down inside, I started to get jealous. I started to get so jealous that she was just making such a great conversation. They were sitting here talking and laughing and everyone's having a good conversation. And I'm kind of just in the background quiet, just. I was not the social type. I don't know how to have conversation at this point. It's just not going well for me. And I'm just being quiet. And at some point we finally introduced ourselves and I learned his actual name. He told us his name was Frank. We introduced ourselves, Brittany. Oh, the other girls really don't matter. Everyone's introducing themselves. I'm like, yeah, I'm Anaya. She's like, I'm Brittany, I'm Frank, A, B, C, and D. And we basically hit it off as a friend group. So eventually we kind of like merged back over to where we were before. And it was getting around the time for the fireworks to start. And I wanted to stand next to Frank when the fireworks started. And I was like really, really freaking nervous to do it. And then here goes this female Brittany goes right up to him and sits right next to him. I am in utter shookness at this point that she actually stole my man. Like she just stole him in front of my own eyes. Like I, I know I'm wearing my glasses. Like you really just, you really just, Wow. And this is all kind of happening in my head because I'm not saying anything because I'm not I'm not trying to let people know like yeah, I have a crush on Frank. Like no, this is a this is not a me and then two other girls got to know it. This is just a me and myself can know it and no one else. So she goes and sits down next to him and then I kind of just sit down next to her and then the other two girls and then Frank's friend was on the other side of him and we're all sitting 
in the bouncy house and then the fireworks start and we're all just sitting there watching it. Fast forward, fireworks are over. We go inside to get juice. So we go inside, we go get some juice, got some like Kool-Aid packets or something. I don't freaking know. So we go inside to the kitchen. All from the kitchen where that screen door was, right next to that is where the living room started. And it was just this huge, huge couch huge chair it's just super comfy looking you know and there was this one seat that was in the middle that was big enough for two of us children to sit in together and frank goes and sits right there right and i'm walking right behind him and then out of nowhere here goes this girl Brittany, pushes me out of the way and sits in the chair at this point we got beef now like you really testing my patience now keep in mind this has been like hours and hours of us like playing in and out of the bouncy house like and we're finally inside it's super late at night at this point and people are starting to leave the end of the night starts coming two of the girls left it's basically me brianna and frank and out of us three Frank was the first one to go. His mom comes in and he's like, Frank, you know, it's time to go. A, B, C, D, we gotta go home. And he was like, okay. And she goes to get like her coat or something. And then we're talking. Frank and Brianna exchanged numbers. And as soon as they did that, I gave up on everything at that point. I was just so done. And then my mom came in. She tells me that she's ready to go. I get up. I'm ready to go. I am I've had it up to here. Like my heart can take no more at this point. I get up, I go over to my mom, I'm ready to go, point blank. Like, get your coat, mom. I'm gonna drive us home. At this point, I'm done, you know? I see Frank with his mom at the screen door by the kitchen about to leave. He asks me, So what's your number so we could keep in touch? You want my number? <laughs> so of course, without hesitation, I start giving him my number. And he gave me his in exchange. I put it in my little phone, you know, and then we left. That was it. That was the end of the night. I already knew that we had to leave kind of early from the cookout party thing, earlier than we usually would from these kind of events, because I had to get up early the next morning to go with my aunt and grandmother to drive down to Atlanta where my aunt lives. And I was gonna stay there for about a month with both of them for the summer. So the next day rolls around, I get up and I'm in the car, we're about to leave. I get a text from Frank. He says, hey. I immediately blush because I'm like, I'm freaking out that he even texted me. So, no details of the conversation do I remember, but I do remember he was flirting with me a lot the entire drive down. The entire drive down, I'm on my phone texting Frank and he is texting me nonstop. So fast forward down the drive, it's getting late at night and he's talking some big game over here about like dating and stuff and how he thinks that I'm really cute and he didn't even like the other girl, Brittany. And I was like, wow, I really thought you liked her. And he was like, no, to be honest, I she was really annoying me and I really wish that it was just me and you and da da da. And I'm sitting here in complete shock I am flabbergasted at what is coming out of this young man's phone. And I am falling for it. I'm falling hard. It's about to be my birthday at this point. It's about 1130 at this point. And he's really spitting some serious game. And a few hours before, I already told him that it's going to be my birthday tomorrow. 12 o'clock rolls around and my aunt pulls in to a Taco Bell parking lot to their drive through to get me a slushie for my birthday. We are making the home stretch. We have about a half hour left until we'll be probably at my aunt's doorstep. And boom, 12 o'clock hits, I get the text from him. Happy birthday, love you. Whoa. Now, of course, me looking back on that message now, whoa, child, we don't even know what that is. I'm gonna need you to chill out. But me back then, I completely melted inside he loved me 
I was loved. Immediately after that, I was like, I don't even know what to say. He was like, be my girlfriend. I immediately said yes. End of the night, he went to bed, we got home, we had a little cake, and I went to bed. I felt like I was living my best life. Now the days following is where things get a little patchy. So we were basically talking like all day, every day, for a, about three days. He was like super into me. I can't exactly remember all of the text messages, but I do remember day four like it was yesterday. Day four of us dating rolls around. I heard nothing from him that entire day. I texted him what? I think I texted him maybe three times the entire day and I never, ever, ever got a response that day. Day five rolls around. I text him one more time and he says two words. We're done. <laughs> I am completely shook and I'm just done with everything that has to do with life at this point. And I said, why, what did I do? He said, I'm sorry, it's just not gonna work out. We're done. I was absolutely heartbroken. I mean, I cried. I cried that entire day. So I called the one person I thought would actually like care. I called my friend, we're gonna call him Kyle. I have known Kyle for a really long time because we had gone to church together since we were babies. We're the same age. Our, my mom knew his mom. My grandmother knew his mom. Like they were all pretty good with each other and we'd always hang out. It was just a thing. We had went to the same middle school and I call Kyle and he picks up the phone and I'm in the middle of crying. Like this is maybe... 15, 20 minutes into me crying after he finally sent the last message. I call him and he picks up the phone and I say, oh my God, Kyle, this boy, this boy I was dating, Frank, he broke up with me and I don't know what to do and I'm really upset. And all I hear is him laugh and say, wow, <laughs> wow, that's sad, damn. He was like, I don't even really know what to tell you. And I was like, so you're not gonna help me? He goes, I don't, I don't know how to help you. And I'm like, I mean, just talk to me. And he goes, I'm kind of busy right now, I'll call you later. Boop. I never heard from him, nor did I ever reach out to him that entire rest of the summer because I was completely done with this at this point. So I was kind of sad for the next two days. And that was, basically it. If you want, there is a part two to this story because he did end up reaching out to me later on that year and we dated two more times. I don't know why I did it to myself. And the funny thing is he didn't even remember who I was, but that's a completely different story. If you wanna hear that story, leave a comment down below telling me and I'll probably be doing a couple more polls on Instagram to see which one I should do next because I actually wrote down a list of a whole freaking bunch of them that I could do. And also if you enjoyed, like this video and share it with everybody you know, doesn't even matter if they don't want to watch it you can share it anyways because you have the freedom to do so and don't forget to subscribe and tell everyone you know to subscribe to my channel because this is not the last you will see of me because we're going to be on here for real i'm gonna go now so